Kayla, you're 16 years old, right? Yes. And um, you're here today because your dad's been having some problems with you, right? Yep. Um, you're 16, and some of the things that uh, I understand that you like, you love to party for three, four days at a time. You smoke weed and you pop pills. Yes, I do. What kind of pills are you popping? Anything I want to. So if somebody just came up and just gave you pills, you'd be taking them? Mm, I'd ask what it was, but I don't get Excuse me? I don't care. I understand you lost your virginity at 13 years old. Yep. Doesn't know who the father of your nine-month-old son is. Mm-mm. Why wouldn't you know who the father of your son is? I got at a party Excuse one Excuse me. And you are on TV, and you are not going to speak that way. You're not my dad. I'm not your dad. If I was your father, you wouldn't be doing these things on this card. I went to a party. I was drinking, smoking weed. I don't remember what happened to me. I heard so many different stories, different guys. I don't remember anything. Does it bother you? That's, that's your son right there? Four, four guys had sex with you in one night? Yep. Was caught in a hotel room with a 35-year-old felon? We was having a party. There was a lot of people there, not just him. Caught having sex with a 19-year-old boy in the back of a car? Yeah. Who caught you? A cop. You say your son gets in the way of you partying? He holds me back. I can't go do whatever I want to do. He holds you back? Yes, he does. <laughs> your son's nine months old. I love my son, but when I'm ready for him, I'm ready for him. There is no being ready for him. Once you have a child, you, there, you have to be there all the time for him. Yeah. And then you found out you were pregnant? I didn't care. I wasn't going to kill my baby, and I wasn't going to hold a baby for nine months and give him with somebody I don't even know. Well, I, I think you, I'm glad that you kept your baby. Uh, you know, maybe you didn't plan on getting pregnant, but you have your baby, but why not be a good mother to him? I'm not ready. But that's what happens sometimes. When you have sex, you have babies. Well, I have birth control now, so I don't care. You're on birth control now, you don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I do what I want. <laughs> yep. Are you doing anything to take care of your child? Yeah, I watch him sometimes. <laughs> you watch him sometimes. <laughs> wow, that's great. How often do you watch him? Whenever I don't have anything else planned. Do you want to change? Mm, not yet. When I will you... when I get older. I want to have fun. You will when you get older, huh? You'll be able to change, huh? Babe, what if it's too late then? Then it's too late. You don't finish this is school. my life. You don't I don't see why everybody's school. worried about it. Who takes care of your son when you're running off to parties? My dad and my aunt. Kayla's father, Mike. There you go, Mike. Nice meeting you. Um, it's got to be tough. I don't know if you were backstage listening. Never been more disgusted in my life. I love my daughter to death, and I want the best for her, but you see her attitude. I've, I might have gave up since I've been taking care of the baby, but I sure didn't give up before that. I mean, I was done everything. The, the law's been involved, the state's been involved, she's had counselors, she's had every opportunity to change if she wanted to. But. And you're taking care of her son? Yeah, full time. So, so how is, in your a, own words, your father, how is Kayla as a mother? She's not a mother. She don't, she's not involved. She's two minutes here. If she doesn't change, what do you see her future as? <laughs> There's no future. Not going to school, no education, no hanging out with all these older guys. There's no future. There's... And what would you like to see happen today? I would like to see someone to get through to her to tell her, man, she got a beautiful son. I mean, this kid is, I enjoy it. I mean, I don't care if she takes care of her now because I enjoy doing it, but I want her to be part of his life. I'm a grandfather. I'm not the boy's dad. Right. I understand you've been crying backstage. What, what attitude? After my wife passed away nine years, I was left with a six-year-old, a 13-year-old, and a 16-year-old. I never ran away. I stood there, and I raised him. It's a lot harder than you think. You think Why is it hard? He's the easiest baby. 
baby. He's so loving. He smiles. He wakes up smiling. There's really only two choices for somebody like you doing drugs and doing all this crazy stuff. You are either going to either be dead and your little boy's not going to get to know who you are or you're going to end up behind bars and your son then won't know who you are either because he'll be getting a letter or a phone call from you occasionally. With your dad's permission, you are going to go to jail. <laughs> Welcome to jail. Come on over, have a seat. Let me explain to you a little bit about what's going to happen to you. First thing that happens to you when you come in is everything you have, all your property is taken from you. Keys, wallet, cell phone, jewelry, money, clothing. Once you're here, you're processed in. First step of that, again, after your stuff is taken, everyone here is required to take a shower. When you got up this morning, did you take a shower? Did anybody watch you take a shower? Did anybody stand there and look at you when you're in the shower? You're fingerprinted, you're photographed, and you become a permanent record here at Monmouth County Correctional Institution. From there, you're escorted upstairs. You get two sheets, one towel, one washcloth, and a blanket. Well, hello, Kayla. How you doing? So I take it you're here because you think you're bad. You're not bad. You are a child. Bad people end up in places like this, where you get to sleep in a cell, with a bigger bitch. And you know what's gonna happen when you're in that cell with her? You're gonna end up washing her drawers, cooking her food, doing what she wants you to do, when she wants you to do it. When they pop those doors at six o'clock, you gotta get up. Cause if you don't get up, you don't eat. And nobody's gonna save any food for you, miss. You're looking at us like you think this is a joke. This is not a joke, this is serious business. Yeah, look at me, I'm talking to you. I would do anything to be 16 years old again. It's choices that I made when I was your age that has me in a place like this today. I'm 44 years old. I should be at home taking care of my children, but I'm sitting in here. My father is How often do you get to see your daughter? I haven't seen my daughters in like four years. Four years. Four years. You should do a survey in here. 99.9% .9 of the women in here are in here because of some form of substance abuse, whether it be alcohol, marijuana, cocaine, or heroin, you name it. Whether they were prostituting when themselves. Thing, when you're using these things, you're probably not making good decisions, probably making decisions that you will end up in here. Oh, absolutely. Every time you have to use the bathroom, God forbid your roommate is in there with you. When you're they locked in and your roommate is in there. You gotta sit there and go to the bathroom right in front of you. You have to, you gotta right there in the room with your roommate. And you better do a courtesy flush because she going to jump off that bed and beat your ass. Because she most certainly do not want to I don't think she gets it. I think you need to lock her ass in one of those cells so she could feel what it feels like to be locked behind that door. Yeah, I got to agree with you. I'm looking at you and I just see, you know, like, it's, it's a blank I don't want to be here. She's not even listening to anything. Are you listening to me? It's going in one ear right out the other. Do you believe, do you think I'm sensationalizing this whole thing or you actually believe me? Because I'm telling you the truth, honey. Trust me, you do not want to be here. Can you imagine being in here like for any length of time? Even if it was for six months? No. What are you thinking? I don't want to be in here. It's not a place I'd like to be. I want to go home. I want to change. I want maybe some counseling. I want to start doing the right thing. I don't want to end up in here. Did you learn anything from this experience? Me personally, I wouldn't want to spend one night in this joint. I don't even like coming in and doing this. I mean, I do it for you. I, I personally, it gives, makes the hair on my neck stand up. I, I do not want to be in this place. And I hope you don't either. Um, Steve really opened my eyes to me realize there's more important things than doing things I was doing. And I'm going to change. So you saw Kayla's experience in jail. She got to talk to inmates about what their life is like in jail. She got to talk to Lieutenant Baker about what's gonna happen to her. And she got to experience herself. I personally don't know if Kayla's gonna go home and change. I don't know if I believe it. Do you?